Hey guys, welcome to Stockbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Bootcamp on your Mac. First, launch a browser and search for Windows 10 download. It's usually the first link, but I put that link in my description. Under Select Edition, you'll see Windows 10 and then click Confirm. It will ask you for the language, which will choose English then click confirm you have two choices here 64 32 you wanted to go for 64 bit if you have one of the newer computers it will download it and might take a few minutes but I'm just gonna stop this because I've already downloaded it so it's in my downloads folder see we have that one so now we need to launch bootcamp assistant so simply search And then from here, click continue. In this window, it will ask you where the Windows image that you downloaded. In my case, it automatically found it. If it doesn't find it on yours, click the choose button. And then pick the Windows image. In terms of partition, it will ask you how much harder space you want to allocate to this Windows. I'm just going to stick with the default, which is 48 gigs. And then click the install button. And I will ask you for the admin password. Before I do that, I'm going to change view just in case because it's going to restart after the software installation. I'm enter my admin password. Now it might ask you your admin password a couple more times, but just enter it. So in these windows, I'm just going to fast forward instead of you guys watching the progress bar. Once it's done setting up, it will automatically restart your computer. It will boot to Windows. Now it's going to ask you for the language. We're going to proceed with the US. This window will ask you for the product key. I don't have a product key. I only have Max in my house. So I'm going to click I don't have a product key. Now here you have to pick the Windows 10 that you want to install. I'm going to pick the Windows 10 Home since I only want the basic Windows. Now click I accept the license terms and then click next. If you do want to read the license terms, scroll down before you click accept. Now this will go through the whole installation. I'm going to fast forward this instead of you guys watching the progress bar. This part may take about 10-15 minutes. Once the installation is done, it will, ask, it will restart by itself. Okay, so it's almost done. Now it's gonna ask for the keyboard layout. I will choose US. We don't need a second keyboard layout, so I'll skip that. Now we'll ask you to connect to your network. Let's set that up later, so I'll click I don't have internet. It will warn you that you'll miss certain features if you don't turn on the internet. I'm fine with it because we're gonna connect it to Wi-Fi later on. So click continue with limited setup. So now set up the username for this computer. I'm gonna put my name and then click next. And then add a password. I'm gonna skip the password, but I highly recommend that you add one. For activity history, I'll click no. Digital assistant, I usually decline this because it sucks up a lot of my memory. And then for privacy settings, I'll turn all of these off. You can leave them on if you want, especially the location. The location allows you to determine the right time. Then click accept when you're done. Now we'll set up a few more things and it'll probably restart a couple more times. This part will take another 10-15 minutes. Now that Windows is installed, it's going to install a few more applications. The first one is Bootcamp Installer. 
You can skip this if you want, but I highly recommend they install it because it will install certain Mac utilities and software that will make running Windows on a Mac much smoother. Once it's done, it's going to ask you to restart again. Click Finish. Since I didn't set up a password, it automatically logged me in. So now that's installed, let's connect it to Wi-Fi. Once the internet is connected, it will launch the Microsoft services, which we can easily skip for now. Next, run the Apple software update. So click Start and click Apple Update. You want to install all the necessary updates. Click Install Items. Then it will give you a warning that this application will make some changes on your device. Click Yes to confirm. It may ask you to restart after each installation. Once it boots up, what I usually do is check if there's any more software update. Click Start, then run Apple Software Update. If it finds more things to install, click Install the Update. It will ask you to confirm and restart. I'm not going to show you that, I'll just ask you to do that before you do the next step. Once you've installed all your Apple software update, the next thing we want to do is install the Windows Update. The easiest way to do that is type Windows Update on the search bar. You will then check online to see if you need any Windows Update. Once it finds all the Windows updates necessary, install all the updates. In some cases, you might have to do this a couple times because it needs to apply certain updates before it apply another update. I know that it might seem annoying that you have to keep restarting every time you do an update, but these things are necessary in order to secure your computer, considering now you're running a Windows machine on your Mac computer. If you find this tutorial helpful so far, please click the thumbs up if you haven't done yet. Once those two updates are installed, now you want to install an antivirus. So let's launch a browser, search for Sophos. You can install any antivirus that you want, but I prefer Sophos and you can actually get a free version. Once Sophos.com loads, click on free download. And then you want to pick the Windows one. You can go for the premium one, but I'm just going to pick the free version. Now before you install Sophos, it's going to ask you to create an account, so create an account from there. I'm not going to show you that, but please install an antivirus before you install anything else. Now if you want to restart the computer and go to Mac, I'll show you two ways. One, on the bottom right here, you'll see Restart on Mac OS. Or, when you restart the Windows machine or the Mac, simply hold the Option key on your keyboard. So I'm going to restart and show you. I'm going to restart here. and then. Hold option while it's restarting. Then it will show you two hard drives. One is Windows and the other is a Mac. Choose whichever OS you want to boot in. I'm going to pick Macintosh HD and then hit enter. And then now it will boot to the Macintosh OS. From Mac OS, if you do want to switch to Windows again, same thing, restart and then hold the option key and we'll give you that Macintosh hard drive option. If you want to uninstall Windows from your Mac, launch Bootcamp Assistant from your Mac OS. Click continue from this window and then now we'll confirm with you that you want to delete your Windows volume. If you're good with that, click the restore button. Keep in mind that nothing can be recovered once you click restore. It will confirm by asking for the admin password you might do this twice and then enter again if it does. If you want to run Windows along with your Mac OS without rebooting, here's my VirtualBox tutorial about that topic. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this video helped you. 
If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below.